We have a question from Alex who asks, why are Uranus and Neptune called ice giants? Now, it's a really interesting question because it goes back to how we think that the planets formed. Now when the solar system was really young, the sun was forming in the middle and it was surrounded by a very broad disk of dust and when you were far enough out and cold enough, ice. And there was lots of ice because water is one of the most common things in the universe. It's made of hydrogen, which is the most common thing, and oxygen, which is the third most common element. You put them together, you get water. So there's lots of water, and when it's cold, you get lots of water ice. Now in this disk, you couldn't really form planets quickly. It happened really slowly. You had small bits of dust and ice collide and stick together to make a bigger bit of dust. And then two of those bigger bits of dust will collide and form a bigger bit still. And over millions of years, you gradually grow things that are centimetres across, then metres across, then kilometres across. And finally you grow things that are planet-sized. And out in the cold parts of the solar system, those things that were planet-sized would be mainly water ice, more than anything else. Now if you get big enough and massive enough, if you get to be ten times the mass of the Earth, while there's still lots of gas around when the solar system's really young, you can begin sucking up all of that gas and the planet can grow quite quickly. But where Uranus and Neptune formed, they were far enough from the sun that it took them too long to grow, so they didn't get to hoover up much of the gas before it was all blown away by the sun when the sun got turned on and really active. So that left these planets are mainly made of ice in the interior with just a bit of gas overlaid on the top of them and that's what Uranus and Neptune are. They're still pretty big, they're much bigger than the Earth. You could fit the Earth four times side by side across Uranus and Neptune and still have room left over. But they are much more made of ice, of water ice particularly, than they are of gas. And so we call them the ice giants to differentiate them from the gas giants of really big planets. Really good question.